Hello everyone, so today I just thought I'd do a quick little tutorial video on the Ulta dashboard for A Township's Tale on VR, available for Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest and PC VR and I'm sure there's a bit more. Uh, today I thought I'd go over the dashboard uh, to get you set up with your server, so it's like extras, mods if you will. So what you want to do is you want to go to dash.townshiptale.com which will be in the description. Once you're there, it will ask you to sign in, which I have already done. You put, and once you you sign in with the details you have put in to uh, go into Township Tail, it will be your username and your password for the account. And then once you're in, this screen will pop up. Then what you want to do is that you want to go to servers. Once you're at your servers, you have you've got all your servers here, right? So all the servers you are in. The only servers you can use your dashboard in are the servers that you have either admin in or you own or co-own so please keep that in mind uh thank uh, so i don't want to see me seeing that in the comments oh i can't do this is it your server so i'm going to be going on to my server the township ruins uh, feel free to join it so i go on here it's just it might take a minute to load now once you're on township, once you're on your, sorry, <laughs> once you're on your uh, little thing, there should be three things here. There should be t your server info, your player list, and then your your uh, command runner in here. If your command runner is not here, what you want to do is you want to go to add module, pull out the list, and click on command runner. It should show up down here. You can keep it down there, but I just like to put it up here. To keep things a bit easier so I don't need to be going down and all that it's going down now I am not connected as I am not on my VR headset right now but I'm going to be using another text box as a little uh, example now this command runner it's capable of a lot of things okay now I can put in so I want you to go to this okay this is also in the description I want you to go to this and this it will take you to this spreadsheet. This spreadsheet is a tutorial to the command runner. So it's so how to spawn in things. So the commands PC and Quest are different. So please keep in mind it's not a big difference, but there are a few things such as when you go into the items list, the green things are for Quest, and the red things are PC only. But the, the, the green things are for PC and the red things work with PC as well, but only the green things work for the Quest. So please keep that in mind. So, or they are very buggy. They're not just for the PC, or they can be extremely buggy, such as a metal tap. It can be, it can be buggy for, right, if you're not on PC. So, on the tutorial, okay, I'm going to be using, let's say, up here as an example. Okay? Now, let's say, right. Let's look at a breakdown of the example command, right? So, the command spawn is for PC, trade post for quest, so this is the spawning tutorial. So I'm going to put trade post, okay, so that's the first thing you would put, trade post, if you're spawning something in. The name of the player to spawn it in for, so CJ, that's the person in here as an example. My name, I'm just going to put in my name, okay, once you've done that, uh, actually no that's not my name anymore, once you've done that. So this is what this is the spawn command. This is who this is the uh, player. This is the uh, object you're spawning in. So let's say you didn't want this, okay? You would go to the items list, and you would hold. If you're on PC, you would go on Control F. You would have this little bit up here, and you would look for it up here. So say I wanted a hoarder's bag. Or there, look and highlighted hoarder. So it's obviously sensed that there's something in here under hoarder bag. So once you find it, what you need to do is you need to highlight it. Control C. Control V. Okay. You can't do you, uh, uh, No. Right. So once you've done that, so trade post, username, object. So say it was something such as a, hmm, let's say it was a sword. Or it was a piece of a sword, and I wanted it to be a, cer a certain, right? So, 
I want I want a sword, but I don't want any old sword. I want a copper sword. So I would go to the materials, I would get copper, and I would copy and paste it up into there. But this is a bag, so what I would do is it I would I would leave that empty. I would leave that completely empty. Okay. Now let's go back to the tutorial. Once you've done that, your amount you want. So let's say I wanted this one's fairly simple. I wanted one hoarder bag, not two for one for me and one for my friend. Okay. So one bag, two hoarder bags, one for me and one for my friend. You just put it here. Okay. And then spawn items forge. This is for like hammerheads. This is for uh, blades. All that the stuff that you need to forge at the blacksmith. So uh, if you want it already forged, once you get it, uh, just type in forged at the end. Uh, if you don't want it forged, just don't type anything at the end, and then you should be fine. Then what you would do is that you would go back here. See this? See this thing here was in here. Okay, it would be a little bit under here, saying run. You would click run. And then it would either say success or it would say some sort of error code. If you are having any trouble with this, uh, the comments are down below. Uh, feel free to send them down there and I'll uh, check what's up with it. I'll try and help you. I can maybe get some support from my friends. Try and figure out if they have any problems. Uh, if this has helped you, consider liking. Uh, if, if you did enjoy the video and it did help you. Uh, if you like this kind of content such as tutorial videos, uh, gaming playthroughs, virtual reality, all of that, please consider subscribing as I will be doing active downloads and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you and have a wonderful day.